Welcome to the absurd world of art, where each day is a dramatic saga. Those who complain about the drama are often the ones picking it up backstage. But hey, everyone's got their own show. Let's talk about Puririka today. We're diving into the joyful chaos where she's getting harassed because she enjoys teasing beginner artists. Initially, I just wanted to share my take on this cool artist. But her TikTok fan gang is so amusing that I can't resist sharing the hilarity. Puririka and her wild fan club. If you're not familiar with Puririka, her jelly art style is like Candy's doing artwork, according to TikTok. She's the queen of this cute style that smells like roses and looks all jelly. Her style is so funny and original that everyone is jumping on the bandwagon, myself included, because Puririka gave the green light to copy her drawings. But here's the twist. This approval set off fireworks. In her virtual kingdom on YouTube and TikTok, everyone's copying, some even more skillfully, which annoys professional artists who think all drawings have the same face syndrome and don't deserve that many likes. Puririka gets insulted in her comments. She even shared an Instagram story explaining her mental health issues due to haters. I was ready with the tissue box, but I discovered that Puririka openly mocked a young artist who traced, no I mean, a 13 years old kid who heavily referenced her drawing. Proof that the artist was not tracing Puririka. You can see the features being drawn and rendered when slowed down. They look different and were in fact not traced. The artist might have referenced Puririka, or she could have just followed her tutorials or even both. When you say go ahead, get inspired. Don't be surprised if the crayons come out. She could have privately told the artist. She preferred inspiration without tracing. Wow, guys, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you so much for, you know, all the followers and likes. And here are three tutorials. Like, take, just take it. You can use it. Watch it and learn how to how to draw like like I do. Oh my gosh! Thanks. This this is really great. Hey, Pure Rica. Um, so I I I did the I followed the tutorial and I drew something. I think it looks a lot like your art style. Like you're gonna love it. Are you fucking kidding? Me? And even created a Discord server with her buddies to give advice. What was the plan in ridiculing that poor kid? When told she could have handled it differently, she takes a mental health break. Classic. She then shares a story where she complains about unauthorized critique videos by making fun of young beginner artists who copy her drawings because they adore her. She didn't think about their mental health and how they get teased by her toxic crew. Comments on her TikTok aren't just about the same face syndrome anymore, but also about Puririka denying sending death threats to another artist. She told artists to go commit suicide. But according to her, Kais isn't a real threat. Yeah, okay, you know what's the funny thing? Puririka made a live where she's was saying that she doesn't care. If she could could so what she have done again she's wouldn't hesitate. After all this whole thing, I got so much views lately and, you know, my TikTok balance is increasing. Like, it's bad, but it's also good at the same time because I'm getting account engagement. Like, I'm getting more... Actually, I did a lot of the things that I've been called out for, but I'm standing with my point. I didn't think what I did was wrong. Like, if I had the chance to do it again, I'll do it again, over and over. I don't know why I'm getting cancelled for... for calling people out to trace my art, like what? My apology video, plus explanation. Psych! <laughs> After revealing all her drawing tricks on the internet, without setting clear rules, it's a bit late to turn back. It's also too late to admit she intimidated artists. Puririka and her pals closed the Discord server after receiving too much hate. It seems like her followers look more pigeons running for bread than anything else. A YouTuber released a video to expose Puririka, but she denied all accusations and encouraged her subscribers to harass her. The YouTuber channel is Dahlia Star. Puririka started a false rumor about her, saying that she was a pay I'll skip the details. But accusing someone of such nasty stuff is crazy. I don't know if Puririka apologized for what she did to Delistra. But what's sad is that that girl is really toxic and not mature for her age. I went to a TikTok live where she was talking about the situation. And she just didn't care about the comments on her life. You didn't have to talk to your Discord about it though. I have to. Why can't I? Did you try to talk to the girl first? No. Anyway, we're still waiting for her apology, if it ever comes. Enjoy the show. The artist's life is a roller coaster. 
Go, 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 go.